Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting a welterweight bout between Matt Brown versus Court McGee. And I have about this one right here. I'm going average confidence, Matt Brown to beat Court McGee. Um, yeah, so um, this is a very close matchup, but I like it because it is two older fighters. I think Matt Brown was older about three years, but they both like, I think Court McGee like 38 and Matt Brown like 41, 39, 40, 41, like something like that. So like a three year difference. But um, I think style-wise is a good matchup. I think also typically, like, again, historics and you got veteran fighters, typically they kind of fall within the same mode. That mode might kind of fluctuate when you go on dealing with younger fighters, like, oh, he might be this, this young fighter. But they kind of fall into the line, like, if even though we're both out of our prime, I mean, I'm still doing a little bit better than you, we're still close enough together. And when we're both in our prime, I will lose to you stylistically. So even though we're at this age, I still will lose to you stylistically. And you've seen some of that happen again with, like, 60-year-old, Ken Shamrock versus the 60 year old Royce Gracie, the same exact thing happened. Like, you know, it was a little bit different. It was actually a TKO instead of a sub. It was the same thing. Royce Gracie finished um, Ken Shamrock and he was still complaining. Like, all the years later, the same exact outcome. You look at Shogun versus um, um, Noguera, like, three times, every single fight, the same exact way. Like, they didn't even need a third fight, but they did. And it was the same exact thing. Same exact outcome every single time. When they were young and in their prime, like, young, baby, booty, whatever it is. Baby bottom young, like in their 20s, then in like RA past their primes in their late 30s, then like later 30s or early 40s, like same exact thing. It didn't change. They might got some grades, might got some grandkids, but the same exact thing. They're going to be in the geriatric house, they rematch again in like um, Bellator or something. Same exact out <laughs> in the fourth fight that nobody even asked for. But um, yeah, obviously these two haven't fought before, so that's not the same exact thing, but. I feel with Court McGee right now, and I feel like in large parts of his career where he thrived at is probably going to with like it's the two people he did beat prior to his loss against Jeremiah Wells. He does well against people that probably want to grapple him. He has shown pretty sturdy grappling defense. And then he'll be the better striker than them. Or maybe a kind of a guy that's a little bit green in there. Then maybe he can mix them both. Maybe kind of wall and start them, stomp their toes a little bit. War of attrition. Take them like take them into the rounds and wear them down and beat them to a decision. Some stuff like that. Or maybe even materialize the finish later in the fight. But I feel like Cormac McGee's offensive wrestling ain't great enough to really win the fight against Matt Brown like that. I feel like Matt Brown should be able to do well defending his takedowns, or at least grappling with him, you know, keeping that very, relatively close. You know, on feet, I feel like Matt Brown should be able to land the more substantial shots, more consistently land the better shots, and the more damage-dealing shots, and the more eye-catching, more scoring shots on um in this fight. It should be able to beat him to this. I think it's going to be like a probably low high level or low veteran type fight where it's going to be a lot of clinching. The pace is going to be as high, but Matt Brown going to be work better in the clinch. And also things will play in the clinch. Matt Brown has a very solid clinch as well. So I feel like this fight could be like one of those very low, not low, but low pace, slow pace fights. And a lot of them probably end up in the clinch. Both guys are like older and not having the best gas tank or nothing like that, or at least the best pace. Like they might both have solid gas tank, but you know that they're older cars. They don't move as fast. Like, like a slower pace, you know, a lot of times you get these veterans, they still start end up falling into the clinch, throwing elbows and knees, trying to battle for hoop cage position, kind of throw a couple shots and go for like a slow one takedown, probably at best, both of them, they'll both go for like three takedowns, might get hit one of them a piece, go both go one or three or something, or one go zero or three or something like that. And yeah, this, I just expect a very low, low pace fight, but um, Matt Brown being the better striker, being better in the clinch, and um, Corbin McGee ultimately just not been able to do enough with the grappling, maybe the slight grappling advantage he'll have, and he won't be able to do enough. But Matt Brown will be able to do more in the striking, outland him, outwork him, win, the, the, win more of the clinching battles, win more of the positional battles, and do a little bit more damage and get his hand raised in a decision over Corbin McGee. So in this one, I have Matt Brown via decision.